Melissa. In this video, I am going to do something that I haven't done, which is unbelievable. Be since I've had the BN2 and the BN. 20A. So we are going to do a comparison, but probably not one that you are expecting. What I am going to do is show you five things, five reasons that you might actually want to consider the Roland BN20A, which is the older model of the 20 inch eco solvent print and cutter from Roland. So we have gone extensively over the benefits of the BN2, which I absolutely love. I have had the Roland BN 20A for several years. It has been a workhorse um, and it is not to be forgotten that Roland has intentionally kept the BN 20A around. And I want to give you a couple of really big reasons that you actually might want to consider it. So first of all, there is a significant, significant, as if you could buy like one and a half of these for the price of this one, cost savings. So the when the BN2 came out in 2023, mid 2023, the BN2 model, or excuse me, the BN20 and 20A models, the prices dropped significantly. So right now you are going to see that the Roland BN 20A, the price is under four grand. Now, what I will tell you though, that doesn't include ink. So you do need to consider that. So really, you, but you can get in for around uh, $4,400. The BN2 model, the BN220, which these are both a four carriage machines, so they do not include white. This one, you cannot get in under about $6,800 because even though the price, the retail is $6,495, that also does not include ink. So if you're comparing exactly side by side, whether it's a bundle or whether it's just the base machine, neither of which includes ink, you are going to have a significant cost savings on the BN20 a. Now, that for a lot of people, especially if you are jumping up from a craft cutter or another type of uh, cutter your business is just getting started, that is a significant savings. So, and we will talk about the fact that like there are some reasons obviously for that price difference, but if you are, if your biggest factor between the two of these is price, then you are going to want to go with the BN20A. Number two, as you can see, there is a official stand for the BN 20A where there is not for the BN 2. So this one you can actually get with the stand. The stand is made for the BN 20A. Um, it is a rolling stand which makes it extremely convenient. You can just you know move it where you want, where you need it. And the BN 2 on the other hand is much heavier. It's definitely top it's, it's obviously larger, okay? So this is on a stationary desk that I had to buy separately. This one, you can get bundles with a stand if you wanna do that. Now, of course, you can also put this uh, BN20A on a desktop. And speaking of, that brings me to point number three, which is the footprint of the BN20A is actually smaller than the BN2. So the crazy thing is they both use the exact same types of materials. They're both the 20 inch uh, rolls that you can use. You can see I've got them all stacked over here. I, I use them on both. However, this one, the BN20A, I'm going to say the wrong thing. I'm, I'm trying really difficult, really hard to make sure I say the right thing so, so as not to confuse you. But the BN20A has you look at the dimensions, a smaller footprint. Now, that comes with an asterisk because you have to have access to the back of the machine in order to um, load the material. So this one, the material, which is why you can't see it, is actually loaded back here through the front. The BN20, BN2 20A, as you can see, has the ability to operate and access everything from the front. So that's nice because you can push it up against the wall. The, the maybe downside to that is that the machine was reconfigured in order to be able to accommodate that, including the ink, which you can't see, I'm gonna show you here, but all of the ink is in this compartment, which has to be, that, that door that I just opened there has to be closed when you are operating the machine. That means it brings me to point number four, which is that you are limited to the 220 milliliter inks in the BN2 20A. However, with the BN 20A, because the ink is goes out the side, you can use 
larger ink cartridges. Now, of course, because you need access to behind the machine and to the side for the ink, you do need, even though it has a smaller footprint, you do need more, you know, working area and clearance for that. However, you can get, there's a cost savings to using, it's basically using bulk ink versus, you know, standard size 220s. You can use 440s, 500 milliliter inks in this because it just is as far as you can extend out the side. This one is the door cannot close except if you use the 220 inks. Okay, so that is four things right there for why you might want to consider the BN20A. And number five is that the BN20A, trying to find it, is a USB connection. Okay, there is a USB connection which a lot of people actually prefer it's just a little bit more standard at this point whereas with the Roland BN2 you have to connect through Ethernet okay so you have to connect to your computer using an Ethernet cord cable or you have to be hardwired so for some people that is a big deal now I will say obviously obviously there are big benefits to the BN2 but if you are looking for something that has a rolling stand made for it, if you are looking to save money, if you don't mind the fact that you have to get behind it to load the material, if you prefer to have more ink at a lower price per milliliter, then the BN20 is something to consider. Now, the biggest reason why you might be like Ugh, on the fence is because the BN2 with that higher price comes with Flexi Designer, which is basically one or two clicks to create the rolling contour cut lines. I will say it is no secret that the BN20A does not come with Flexi. You cannot even purchase it as a as a add-on and that means that you have to use a different method to create those contour cut lines and that is the biggest headache for BN20A users. So this machine solved that problem. That is part of, that is a big part of why the price point is where it is on this one. This also prints faster. But again, if you are a small shop, if you're just getting started, if you are, you know, very price sensitive, especially right now, or maybe you're just like, you know what, I'm not even sure how much I'm going to use this. The functionality of these two machines at the core, print and cut, is the same. You might be able to do, and I have side-by-side -side, um, uh, speed tests, you might be able to do something on this machine twice as fast as this one, but if you are not in a rush, and again, if, if those five factors or any one of those five factors is really the most important to you, then you might want to consider the BN20A. All right. All right, you guys, I hope that um, that gave you a little bit of information because I know that a lot of what we're seeing is why is the BN2 better than the BN20A? But for some people, especially startups, the BN2 might be or the BN20 might actually be a really good option. Now, all of the links for everything are in the description below. If you are concerned about how to create those contour cut lines with the BN20A model instead of the BN2 because you don't have the ability to use that flexi that comes with it. I have tutorials on how to, to make them in uh, Corel Draw, in Adobe Illustrator, in Affinity, even in Silhouette Studio, which I will say is, you know, a bit of a, uh, it can be a little finicky, but I, my suggestion is I have plenty of suggestions on how to do it the most um, economically and also the fastest. All right, so lots of things going on here. Make sure, again, that you, if you're interested in the BN, um, 20A, the price, you just can't beat it. It is the lowest price printer and cutter. You will not find another one on the market. You are basically going from something like um, a print and cut where like for a silhouette or a Cricut, you're printing on your home printer and then you are cutting using registration marks limited to the size of your printer, most of which is not going to be 20 inch. Or you have something like an iColor 250, which is a small it's really a label printer that you can use uh, to make stickers, but it's four inch wide. So that is a printer and cutter, but I'm gonna tell you the price of that one, it is less than this, but to be honest, it's, it's not a significantly less considering the fact that this one's 20 inch and the iColor 250, which I also absolutely adore, is only four inch. So you've got a couple of options, but really if you are looking to jump into EcoSolvent, which this is, if you have a budget under five grand, which this is, if you are w wanting to, to print on um, EcoSolvent, 
uh, vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, metallics, um, holographic, glitter, signs, uh, wall flare, all those different things. This machine checks all of those boxes. All right, guys. See you soon.